Cooking with the Cerna. Hi! What's up? Welcome to our first ever episode number one of Cooking with the Cerna. <laughs> so right. we are making Cerna sauce. Cerna sauce. That's our tomato sauce for those who don't know what Cerna okay. sauce is. But we talk about it often on my Instagram channel. At Miss Mama I. Hey. hey. <laughs> so I have Lewis with me today. He's gonna be cooking the Cerna sauce. My own recipe, so you know I take a lot of pride in it. He's gonna share it, part of it, part of it. He's gonna share part of it. I won't give a chef doesn't give all his secrets. <laughs> all right now, this is what we have. We got the uh, vegetable setup. You know, of course, you got your onions and you got yellow onions. You got your red onions. You got carrots. They got Italian parsley, some basil, some bay leaves, some celery, a little bunch of herbs and spices, and some olive oil. And and then you got your um, tomato sauce, and the whole tomato peeled, uh, some diced tomatoes, some tomato paste. Be all right. Yeah. Put it all together in a certain kind of way. You'll see at the end what I'm talking about. That's where the sauce comes from. Hey. Hey. We just got brand new pots and pans for Christmas. Thank you, Santa. <laughs> I know that guy. They are, they are the Green Diamond brand. Oh my gosh, I love these pots and pans. No scrubbing whatsoever. These, love these. Got them from Walmart. They were on a great sale. They were like 50 bucks. So awesome. Guys, check out this color. I low-key only wanted these pots because of the color. <laughs> are going to slow down cooking right now. This is going to get you up to speed. All right, we're going to let this heat up the bottom of the pan, and then we're going to throw in some, some little spices first. I'm going to chop up vegetable celery, some mixed uh, greens, my parsley, oregano, basil, some carrots, and some red onion on the side over here. Okay. And then I got my vegetables, I'm gonna, uh, my, my spices I'm going to add into that. And then we're going to cook all the vegetables down. And then at the end of that, we're going to put all this stuff into one big pot, my sauce pot. And we're going to open up the cans of tomatoes in there first. Get the diced tomatoes in there. Uh, tomato paste will get last. But we're going to get put those in last. And then after we get when everything's all uh, cooked down, they all go in a pot together. Now, this is interesting for me because I've never actually seen you make sauce. Yeah. I eat it, but I <laughs> I've never been in here while you're making it. So how long have you been making sauce, babe? Oh. Uh, 15. Where'd you learn to make sauce? I learned from a lot of great different chefs. There's a little bit of everybody's ways of making it. Okay. So you took a little from this one, took a little from that one, added a little this. cito, and exactly. then you made it. I own. Turn the sauce. But now, we have like an inside joke that we put our olive oil in the last Prego jar that I ever bought. <laughs> So you see here, that's the Prego jar, and you always see it, and it's just filled with olive oil. Because we don't buy a Prego no more. We eat Cerna sauce. Hey, what's it? Hey. We eat Cerna sauce. <laughs> what do you remember the first thing you ever cooked was? Rice and beans. <laughs> it's very Puerto Rican of you. Well, that used to be my favorite dip. My mom used to make me rice and beans and you know, like pork chops or chicken or fried yeah. chicken and then it was steak. So that's why I just like to eat rice and beans all day long. But then I got into the Italian kitchen and I was like, kind of just fell in love with all the food out there. All the Italian food? Yeah. I love pasta. I love tomato sauce. But you could do a lot with tomato sauce. You could do like sausages, peppers, onions. You could mm -hmm. do tortellini, manicotti. You could do lasagna, big ziti, the, the list goes on. Right. You hit dessert. Mm -hmm. Cannolis. cannolis. I can, that's another thing because that's another segment that's going to come to you later. Making homemade cannolis because I know how to make that too. Cooking with the Sarah's is going to get real. <laughs> I hope you guys follow. Come back for more episodes. And one day soon we'll put this on the market and then everybody can cook with the Sarah's. Hey. Put that into existence. Want results put it into existence.
Jersey boy. I grew up in Florida, but now I'm here in New York and I'm making the best of it. You gotta get your New York state of mind. Making the best of it? You're gonna offend so many New Yorkers. I love New York. Don't get it twisted. I mm -hmm. really do love New York, Back but there's something about a just nice and peace and quiet of the country that I love. So I, I can't I can't hold everything on. New York is a great place. But I'm from New York. Yes, my wife is strictly from New York. That's right. I lived other places, but I met her in Florida, though. Yes, I lived in North Carolina. I lived in Jersey with you, but yeah, yeah. no place like and cold. Let me see those New York in the comments. So, how much longer would it take you to make this sauce if you didn't use the can a whole tomatoes? You gotta cook down the tomatoes, get them nice and soft, so you can peel them down. You know, but you can't cook them, overcook them. Okay. I'm gonna turn that sauce into stock, so tomato stock. So basically the can whole peel tomato just saves so much time. It does, it does. So now this is on low, you said, right? How long does this all? Maybe two hours, maybe an hour and a half. Mm. All right, we're pretty much almost there where we need to be. The sauce is perfect, it's perfectly cooked. I wish I had like a different food processor, but- um, It's on the way. Yeah, we got more things. This is what we have right now. So, you know, we make the best of everything we have. It's a blessing anyways, yeah. right? Yeah, like MC says, Mariah Carey, doing the best I can with what I got. Also, this blender, you can see we use it, it doesn't even have any like letters on the bottom of it was a gift from my sister-in-law. <laughs> Shout out to the Sanchez's. So now we're just gonna blend everything up. You can pickle them if you want. You know, after they cool off, just put, boil some water and put the jar in there and when it just, when it's boiling, just seal it up with the, the lid and it'll pickle them. You hear the pop, and then you can, you can throw them away. Oh, cool. All right, so that's the end of this video. So cooking with the Cernas. Coming soon, near future, maybe you'll get a taste of Cernas sauce. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And a happy new year, and stay safe, and be safe. Yeah. Yes. God bless. God bless.